Hi, my name is Mae Bobrin and I'm a board certified behavior analyst with Brett DeNovi Associates. In this video, I'll be talking about the telehealth model selection matrix. This video goes over the BACB 5th edition TASIS area H7, which states, make database decisions about the effectiveness of the intervention and the need for treatment revision. So as a disclaimer, this tool was developed under extremely time-sensitive circumstances due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Additional empirical research is required to determine the validity and efficacy of the clinical tool. Practitioners should continue with caution and maintain BACB ethical guidelines. What I'd like to discuss is about the Program Modification Assessment for Direct One-to-One -one Telehealth Services, specifically the Skill Acquisition Component. It was created in an attempt to provide a tool for behavior analysts and provide organizations to take a systematic approach in determining which clients are ready for immediate treatment with minimal program modifications, which clients' programs would require substantial modifications to goals, teaching procedures, and behavior intervention plans. And lastly, which clients present with barriers requiring advanced problem solving to access the benefits of direct telehealth services. When assessing modality, the author discussed the following. The number of redirections required for the client to attend to the screen or the clinician. The number of minutes or trials to which the client attends before engaging in any negative responses. The least intrusive successful prompts and also the schedule of reinforcement. So looking at the figure that was part of this article, um, the figure one, part one, skill acquisition, the recommendation is that the BACB probe nine goals, three that are mastered um, and generalized, three that are, have been mastered but haven't met generalization, and three that are in progress. For each of these goals, you're going to look at you're going to measure the attending, so how many redirections are needed for the, the client to attend. You're also going to look at the number of trials or minutes that the client was able to attend without prompting. You're also going to collect data on the least intrusive prompt type that was successful, and also looking at what the schedule of reinforcement that's required in order for the client to demonstrate that goal. All this information will then be analyzed into the treatment model selection matrix, which I'll be discussing in a future video. For attending, if attending is consistent regardless of the goal, then focus on the focus of the program could be to increase attending since the issue does not appear to be the level of the difficulty. Another example uh, is the reinforcement. If an increased schedule of reinforcement is required, regardless of the goal, then the focus of the program can be to thin the schedule of reinforcement for goals that have met mastery criteria, including the generalization. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to disseminate the science, share this video. Thanks, bye.